talking about how happiness can come from tragedy. Where dreams come true, or the most magical place on earth. Most of us in this room can probably recall hearing those words on Disney World commercials growing up. Those words always gave children hope and made them want to visit the most magical place on earth. Well, at least those words meant a lot to me when I was three years old. Disney World was somewhere any kid wanted to go growing up, and I would do anything to get there. I grew up in a small town called Russell, Iowa. We lived in the middle of the country in this beautiful house. I know you're thinking, why are we talking about your house when we should be talking about Disney World? I'll get there. It was just my mom, my dad, and I in the house. This house was my first, was the first house my parents bought together and started building their dreams here. We seemed like the picture perfect family and this house really tied it all together. Until one day, it didn't. My mother growing up was a clean freak and was cleaning the whole house on a Sunday afternoon. As she was cleaning in her closet, she reached into a dark corner. As she was expecting to pick up a pair of sandals, she picked up a snakeskin instead. My mother freaked out about the situation, but there wasn't much we could do about it. Still paranoid about the situation the next day, she went to work and told her coworkers about the encounter. She told her coworkers, if my house burns down, don't be surprised. This is a common saying used in situations where you find something gross or scary in your house. My mom didn't mean those words seriously, but little did she know how powerful words could be. Three weeks went by and everything was fine until a cold March day. Both my parents were at work when they got a phone call that our house was on fire. As they both rushed to the house, I was at daycare with no idea what was going on. Unfortunately, firefighters got to the scene too late and we had lost everything. This was our house, nothing was left. And I'm not sure if anybody else's houses have burnt down, it's not a very common thing. But even though I was three years old, I can still remember the day we went to our house and I saw everything gone. We had lost everything, including our beloved dog who was in the house. The house where all my memories were made was gone, along with all of our belongings. The day after the fire, we went back to the house to look around and pick up. My grandparents also came to help. As I was looking around at all my burnt and charred toys, my grandmother asked how she could make up the situation to me. I, apparently, I have to know I was a very intellectual three-year-old and knew what I wanted. I apparently looked my grandmother dead in the eyes and said, take me to Disney World. Two years later, I was soaking up the sun in Orlando, Florida, having the time of my life, having the time of my life at Disney World. In conclusion, sometimes happiness can come from tragedy. Now there's two things I have to know. Your house doesn't have to burn down to get to go to Disney World. And two, my mother did not commit arson. That's it. Thank you.